Silvana Sikorsky has been checking on our visiting elephant seal this afternoon. Silvana. Narelda, this elephant seal has spent almost 40 hours here at Sorrento Beach and he's made himself quite comfortable and he's showing no signs of getting back into the water. Now, big crowds have come and gone. The seal is so popular. He even has his own Twitter account. The Twitter account says, I love a good summer trip. And if that's any indication, he could be here for quite a while. Now, people are allowed to come and have a look at the seal, but are still being warned to keep a safe distance because they are vicious. Our cameras caught the moment a man slapped the seal yesterday afternoon. Authorities are shocked and say this shouldn't happen. They're now investigating the incident. Now, a zoo vet came to examine the seal this afternoon and just to highlight how dangerous these guys actually are, they too had to keep a fair distance from the animal during the examination. Now, the Department of Parks and Wildlife say the animal is simply resting because of the very long journey he's made to WA from his home in sub-Antarctic waters. Now, the department has told us one female spent five years on a beach in Exmouth. We're not sure how long this guy will be here for, but he looks like he's having a pretty good time. Thanks, Silvana. Now, Michael Schultz, if the seal decides to swim to, say, Rottnest on Saturday, what yeah, sort of conditions? I think the elephant seal would be pretty happy with the conditions. It's proving so popular, it was kept under guard last night, and there are concerns about people getting too close. He might look pretty timid after a pat from a curious spectator, but this 2,000 kilogram elephant seal is pretty dangerous. Faster than a human on sand and in the water. If seals feel threatened, they attack. There are probably people on this beach who are not keen to go into the water in case there are sharks. I think they should be a lot more concerned about, about this animal. They're a dangerous animal and it's important that people stay away. Parks and Wildlife say he's not stranded, he's simply taking a break. I guess the concern is that he's molting and if he molt, he could be here from 3 to 40 days. It hit more than 37 degrees today, hot for us humans, but not for the Sorrento seal. Turning and throwing sand maintains a cool body temp. <laughs> and don't be fooled by his size. This guy is only a teenager who'll grow two metres longer and double his weight. Sorrento's newest tourist attraction is drawing crowds right across Perth. We've come up from Leeming. Oh, wow, it's been quite far. We heard it on the news and thought we've got to come and see this. Kate Smithers joins us live now from Sorrento Beach. And Kate, yep. the seal is about to spend his second Rick night under guard. Rick and Rick. Rick and Rick. OK, well, we'll come back to Kate, hopefully. The latest on the seal. Slowly shedding his winter coat. Barriers have again been set to keep the public at a safe distance. He may look slow moving, but authorities warn the juvenile sea lion is strong and fast. He's a large animal. Um, they can become aggressive when, when hassled. Uh, we were very concerned. I mean, we're here today not to protect the animal. We're really here to protect the public. And Jerry, the crowds are continuing to grow down there. That's right, Tracy. As you can see, there's still hundreds of people coming and going just to take a look at this very popular sea lion. Now, we know he's here to shed his skin, but we don't know how long he'll stay. We know that seals take up to 40 days to shed their winter coat, but if he decides to make Sorrento Beach his home, he could be here much longer. And that has happened before in Esperance. A seal's been living on the beach for five years. Now, authorities want to keep him as comfortable as possible while he is here, so they're asking the public to please stay behind the barricades and not to take flash photography at night time. They think the bright lights is what drew him back into the water early this morning. Tracy. Crowd certainly enjoying his return. Jerry, thank you.